Both Pierce and Chalmers gets away from Davis. Way to finish. Richardson and Paul, both Pierce and Garnett, actresses that spurred that incident at the end of game one that caused the suspension of Garnett in game two. And Mike, it's the zone that has totally changed the game around again because of only one range shooter on the floor. I like this move by the Miami Heat. Thomas almost the steal on that one. The Celtics call timeout. They have more turnovers than shot attempts. Nine turnovers with still 2.48 remaining here in the opening period. Well, again, 2-3 zone. This is what Chalmers does best. He's a steal guy, and then I like it. Giving it up to Wade and rewarding the star player to make sure he gets off. 9-0 run by Miami. Thanks for watching ESPN on ABC, home of the NBA Finals. The NBA Playoffs on ABC, brought to you by the Sierra from GMC. Never send a truck to do a Sierra's job. Beautiful afternoon in Miami, Florida, and a beautiful start for the Heat, up by 12. As Dwayne Wade and the Heat forcing turnovers. Boston shooting 62%, but they can't hold on to the ball. Getting it done on the defensive end, active hands, and then off to the races time and time again. This is the way that the Miami Heat team will give themselves a chance to win and get back in this series defensively. And I love this. Chasing shooters off the screen is not just the guy initially, but to build the wall. Three guys in position off the catch, and then multiple effort plays getting back into the pitcher. Outstanding job early on for the Heat defensively. Boston struggled with turnovers early in the regular season. They were actually one of the worst in the NBA. Much better second half of the year as Rondo misses that jumper. Wade on the attack, drives, blocked by Tony Allen, and then Wade got hit. And Wade is shaking up a bit on the play. Coach, you talked about something where Chalmers leads the basketball up as we take a look at the block. Wade upset that no call was, was made. He taking the basketball back out. But you talk about Chalmers giving up to Wade for the transition dunk. I watched it last night. Westbrook did the same exact thing for Durant. That's what you want to do. Find a way to get your star players a taste of knocking down baskets, whether it be in transition or easy play. And you know what? That's not easy for young players to realize that. I give both these younger guards credit for realizing that situation. Rondo trying to draw the foul. Has one the rebound. That goes Wade. Wade goes right at Michael Finley. Count it and one. Well, he continue their assault. They're up by 14. What I love about this, this is almost a running back move. Looked like he's going to go to the middle. Crosses over. Outstanding job of getting the defense on his heels and then finish. That doesn't look like a foul there. That looks like a heck of a play by Wade. Michael Finley agrees with you, Mark. But Wade will go and get a chance for the three-point play. He was superb in game three with 34 points, eight assists. And this is the largest lead of the series for the Miami Heat. 12 straight points. Bench out there right now, the only starter is Rondo for Boston. Now this is interesting, going back away from the zone. And I think it's because Paul Pierce is out of the game. So look at that perimeter. There's not one perimeter guy that's going to just take you one on one. And I think the way that they're defending the perimeter guys, they're really zoning them. They're not chasing them out wide. They're playing them in the paint area, forcing these guys to make shots. Tony Allen took a wild shot there. Joel Anthony tracks down the loose ball. Elite shooting 57% from the field. Wait, oh, beauty! 31 to 14. Wade with 14. Finley jump shot. 
gets it to go. I think Miami should try to re-sign that guy in the offseason. <laughs> well, so much made here in South Florida that with the Heat should lose this game. Will it be Dwayne Wade's final game as a member of the Heat? Elliott, ball knocked away. Still loose. Wallace comes up with it. Well, you can't have loose possessions right now. Finley off the mark. Haslam, another mainstay here. He's an unrestricted free agent after this season. Even, as people like to use it to say, the heart and soul for a number of years. I like this. Rather than going two for one, slow it down. Things are a little hectic. Get a quality possession. Really. Wade steps back. And well short. Shot clock turned off. Richardson with 27 of the 31 points. He'd have a foul to give. And there it is. And of course, that was a big topic after game three, where they had a foul to give, but chose not to foul Paul Pierce. And Eric Spost just said, that's on me. Well, that was his decision not to do it. Darrell Wright did not commit the foul. Maybe if Wade was out there, it's a little different story. Well, I think again, in that situation, you may have different levels of trust in different players to be able to execute a foul to give, which seems simple, but giving it at the right time without allowing the offensive player to get into the act of shooting is a little bit more tricky than it may appear. Well, to me, that's a cop-out. The reason why is because you put yourself in position to be prepared for those moments. As a coach, those are things you work on so that you, you are able to trust five guys on the floor to, to execute the plan. Rondo, final second spin, flips it up at the buzzer, and it floats in. Smooth from Rondo. And what was an otherwise difficult first quarter for Boston. Not so for Dwayne Wade and the Heat. Wade had 14. Britton Richardson had 13. And most importantly for the Heat, they forced nine turnovers that led to 16 Miami points. It's an elimination game for the Miami Heat. But a strong start. First quarter is done. 13-point lead. Welcome back to Miami where the Celtics are down by 13. Doc, they jumped out on you early. What didn't you like about that, that first quarter? Well, I didn't like anything, really. Uh, uh, I mean, we had no patience on the offensive end. It was like everybody came out offensively to try to make, make a knockout blow by themselves. you got to play together. And defensively, we had no urgency. We, they got the first eight shots with no hands in the face. Big uh, first quarter for Dwayne Wade. You've been talking about your defense against him all series. What do you have to do differently against him? Well, he's Dwayne Wade. You know, um, I'm more concerned really about those other four guys on their team because they're having an impact while Wade is having an impact. And they both can't have one, so we got to stop one or the other. All right, thank you very much, Doug. All right, Lisa, Doc Rivers is one who says let's wrap up the series as quickly as possible. He remembers back in 2003, he was the coach of the Orlando Magic. First round, they were up 3-1 to one against the Detroit Pistons and lost three in a row and lost that series. Granted, it's not 3-0, but he has seen teams come back in a playoff series first hand. But they were the far superior the team. Pistons the Pistons were. Yes. That was a championship level team. And really only Doc had Tracy McGrady and the modern day or latter day Tito's at that time. <laughs> Ray you Allen, know, it's that shot. You know, they just didn't have the depth of talent that, that Detroit had at that time. I think the concern is you don't want to give this Miami Heat team confidence. This is, a, this is a group that's been struggling confidence-wise up until this point. You don't want to give them a bounce and a swagger where they believe that they can make plays and have a chance in this series because they have a star that can take over. Ball kicked out of bounds. Shot clock reset to 14. Here's Dwayne Wade who's sitting right now. Now normally he sits in the second and the third, but those were his numbers in those quarters. Well, yeah, he starts off, his minutes are a little bit less than both the second and the fourth. But those are huge numbers, and I think one of the reasons is, as we saw in the first quarter here, his opportunities in transition diminish over time. The Royal had to put it up as the shot clock expired. Here's Nate Robinson. He's only played in eight minutes in this series as Davis goes in. And foul by Haslam. So free throws coming up. 
for our big baby Davis. Robinson off the bench here. As Davis goes to the free throw line. He had that terrific game two when Garnett was suspended. But he is, whether he's scoring or not looking for a shot, he's been very good.